experience was love at first sight. We both had anxieties, but we saw the photo and that was it, we were done. They called us at one and asked us if we were interested in a baby boy. By two, we knew it was a baby girl. And by six, she was at home. We had a grand total of five hours to get ready. Both boys arrived at the same time. We were so happy and yet terrified because we didn't know what to do with two babies. I really wanted the experience of being a dad. My son was eight when I first met him. I really enjoyed making a welcome book for him before he came. For my wife and I, adoption was always part of our family creation plan. So when we couldn't have biological children of our own, that was the next natural step. They want to hear the whole story again and again. What was the process? How did you get us? They were so excited. They want to see pictures of when they were little and have a sense of belonging in the family that they're in now. He didn't talk to people very much, but now he's a new person. He really changed over the years. My son wouldn't let me out of his sight. He followed me around indoors and out. He didn't want to be alone. He was afraid that I wouldn't come back. My daughter attached to her mom, but I had to prove myself to her, show her I was there to stay. In a multiracial adoption, people sometimes assume that you are not the parent. They might wonder what you're doing with the child. My daughter is 17 now and she's been through a lot. She's a good student, she's a singer, and she's been accepted to the college she wants. She's a great kid. My son really loves soccer and lacrosse. My son is an artist. especially as a single father, my mother and sisters have gone out of their way to really be there for me. It's not like I'm saving the child or she's saving me. She's my daughter, I'm her father. We're family. I have a multiracial family, Chilean, American, Jamaican. It's a gift I can give my daughter. My children are gonna inherit my ancestry. They are part of my family tree. A lot of my friends don't know my child is adopted. I don't say that I'm an adoptive father, I say that I am a father. Adoptive is an adjective that modifies the word father when it doesn't need to be modified. We're just fathers. When she wants something, she says, Daddy, in that little girl voice, Daddy, can I go to the mall? And can I have $20? You don't become a father by having sex. You become a father by committing yourself to a relationship with your children. We had to want to have children. We had to jump through hoops with the state. We had to deal with the specialness of a child who had lost their parents of origin. We had to make that commitment. And it doesn't end just because they turn 18. We have to adjust our lives, our ways of thinking in order to fit the children's lives. We get molded by them as they do us. We know our children will be lovable and smart, but there were preconditions we needed to learn to deal with and help them learn to deal with. As an adoptive father, we came in with an advantage of not having blinders on. My child is learning to be who she is in this world. My wife and our daughter are both black. My wife is best equipped to teach our daughter how to become a young black woman, though I'm not totally incapable. But sometimes I wonder if I'm up to the job. It would be really nice to have a support group for adoptive fathers and fathers in general. We need to help each other. It's very important that they learn about their biological mother and father if they want to. We told them we'd support any decision that they make after 18.
I make a point of not saying anything bad about the birth parents. I'm sure they did the best they could with the issues they had. Reading stories, brushing teeth, all the things you do as a father, it's all even more fun than I hoped. What would I want adoptive kids to know? That it doesn't matter if you're an adoptive father or not. You just love your kids. I want adoptive children to know how much you change our lives and how much you mean to us. I often tell my daughter, thank you for being my kid. She just rolls her eyes and tells me I'm crazy. Yo los llamo hijos del corazón. And no matter what, we always love them. My children have saved my happiness. We're the lucky ones.